After 103 years, the Plymouth Women's Club is disbanding. A small dedicated group of women have been committed to its community services and scholarship programs since its inception. Because no new group of area women has been successful in continuing the club, the group has made a tough decision to disband. BCN met up with these women at one of their last gatherings to hear more about the club's origins, accomplishments, and passions. That's better than the one on TV. Okay, that's right. Yes, I've been the president for the past two years for the Plymouth Women's Club. And it's a group I joined just to get to know the community. I am very sad that it's disbanding, but I understand the circumstances, and I give you tribute to all the women who have participated. Women's groups have been in existence for a long time, but were focused on church and neighborhood gatherings. In 1868, a female journalist named Jane Cunningham Crowley wanted to attend a dinner at an all-male press club, but was denied due to her gender. She decided to start her own women's club, and then 21 years later invited all women's clubs across the country to a convention. This gathering formed the General Federation of Women's Clubs. The powerful group had lasting influences on child labor laws, juvenile court laws, Food and Drug Act, overseas service units, and public health issues. The Plymouth Women's Club was formed in 1912 with a mission to promote volunteerism, support local organizations with services and fundraising to help educate and enrich the community. Over the years, they have supported all ages with youth art shows, letter campaigns for troops, and helping the homeless. They have partnered with the Red Cross, the Salvation Army, and Habitat for Humanity. I've been a member of the Plymouth Women's Club for 13 years and I've enjoyed every moment. I am uh, sorry that, uh, that the club is disbanding as uh, the few members that are uh, left feel, uh, but all good things come to an end and I think we, we accomplished a great deal of community activity uh, and volunteerism. Uh, we did so much in the past 13 years that I'm proud to have been a part of that. Well, uh, as a member of the club over the years, uh, I've gained many friendships. I moved to Plymouth um, shortly before I joined the club, and it was very instrumental in helping me make friends plug into the community, and many of the friends I made in the Women's Club are still friends. Their scholarship program has given out over $19,000 in an 11-year period with 27 scholarships awarded. Their 100th anniversary in 2012 included plant sales, yard sales, and a raffled off restored dollhouse, as well as an anniversary book for a fundraiser. I would like to take this moment to give a memorial to all the women who have served for the past 103 years. The Mass Federation for Women's Club and the Plymouth Women's Club have followed the emancipation of women from the Civil War days to the present, where women have come out from the home in their church groups to step into the world of civic and community service. And to those women, I give great thanks. To us. To us. Yeah.